Well, I was looking at these horses and, you know, at the sun on their withers and the wind and their mane. Nothing can prepare them for what's, what lies ahead. The run for the roses so red. Woodford Reserve. Let me give you a little history of this remarkable place that distills this remarkable whiskey. Back in 1780, just after the Revolutionary War had started, a young Elijah Pepper from Culpeper, Virginia, built his first whiskey distillery. And then in 1790, he moved west to Kentucky. And on this spot, this land you're looking at right here, he built the first distillery out here in the Kentucky area in 1812. He bought this land because the water was so nice. It was filtered through the earth, through this limestone, into these aquifers. And many people say that that is why bourbon whiskey is so good in this area from Louisville to Lexington because of the, the great tasting water that's underneath this beautiful land. As Tina and I are looking around in the, the gift shop, it has some superb whiskey here, and all of the whiskey is uh, crafted, the Woodford Reserve is crafted from a grain recipe of 72% corn, 18% rye and 10% malted barley. As you walk the grounds of the Woodford Reserve Distillery, which is a National Historic Landmark, you get the sense of history in every step that you take. You get the history of the bourbon, you get the history of Kentucky, and of course, you get the history of the United States. And that is why I have this passion for bourbon whiskey because I feel it's so rooted in Americana. As you look at these tracks that are still in place, they used to use these tracks to roll the barrels down the hill to the last warehouse. And actually, they still use those tracks today. Woodford Reserve says that they have one of the longest fermentation processes in the bourbon industry and a quote from their website says Woodford Reserve is built on details where we're from and how we're made quality is what we're judged against and if we aren't great nothing else matters and folks they live up to that name it is a great bourbon
So at the end of the tour, we get to go into the dryer house and we get to try the Woodford Reserve whiskeys. And they gave us four choices. The regular Woodford Reserve selector's choice. We had the Woodford Reserve rye. And we had the Woodford Reserve weeded whiskey. And then we tried a cinnamon twist, which is not like a fireball. It was just a really good whiskey. And we also had a little piece of chocolate. So now, at the end of the day, we're heading on into Frankfurt to try out this restaurant called Good Wood. And I'm going to tell you what, this place was pretty cool. Guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, we have had a great day, and now we're at Good Wood. It's uh, brewing and spirits, and I'm getting a flight of bourbon with, and I'll tell you about that in a little bit, which ones I'm getting. What'd you order, team? I ordered a sour buffalo. It has buffalo trace, uh, crafted vanilla, bean, simple syrup, lemon, egg white, and bitters white, something like that. Yeah. That, I'm not sure yeah, that's, how I feel about all that, but we're going to see. I was going <laughs> to order that, or an old fashioned, but um, I decided to go with the flight uh, whiskey, so that'll be four different half pours or whatever, so that'll be fun. And then... Uh, we're probably both gonna get burgers. They got a pretty good looking menu, so I don't, I don't know what we're gonna get. This has been an outstanding weekend on this Kentucky bourbon tour. Yeah. So. Lots of fun. It is. This is our waiter. He's doing a great job. What Thank you. Think? My name's Marcus. Y'all gotta come out here and see us now. I'm gonna go get this. This uh, bourbon flight for my man now. There you go. He better film it too, because it's gonna be good. Yeah, all right. And don't forget that drink now. Oh, I'm sour. <laughs> yeah. Here's the sour buffalo. Tell me, what is it? The sour buffalo. Um, so I said the ingredients earlier. Yeah, but go ahead and try it. I'm gonna try it now. That's good, and I can definitely taste the buffalo. Oh my goodness, it is so sweet. Nice. My kind of drink, like it. All right, so I got my flight, and of course I've had Buffalo Trace many, many times, and but I got the Eagle Rare, which is actually 12 year aged Eagle Rare, and then uh, 1920 Old Forester, which is really, really good. So we're gonna try that too. And then the Sazerac Rye, which I have not tried Sazerac Rye, so I'm looking forward to that. So, and Tina's drink is good. I even tried that, that's good too. Hey guys, and uh, 
you know, early this, well, 11 o'clock this morning, we did the Maker's Mark. That video will go up first. And then at 2.30, we did the Woodford Reserve uh, distillery tour. That was really, really nice. Yeah, that was uh, a lot of fun. Both each unique, but mm -hmm. uh, Woodford was very cool. And uh, can't wait to try the pick you got from there, Chris's pick. Mm -hmm. That was. Yeah. Neat. All right, guys, Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace always is so sweet. A little bit of spice. It's it's in it. It's a long finish. It's really good for the for the price, and you just can't go wrong. That's great. And then this Eagle Rare 12 year. Wow, that smells great. That's good, it doesn't have a very long finish. It's very similar to the Buffalo Trace, same, same uh, distillery. But it, it's very good. That's very good. And then, Old Forester 1920. Different distillery. And you smell this, it's like brown sugar. And it's like cinnamon toast crunch or something. Cinnamon toast crunch? It's what this 1920 old Forester is. Is that what it smells like? Yes. Really? To me. Mm, it smells so good. I mean, oh, it's like, Eagle Rare is the best. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. good. Have you tried it? Yes. It's so smooth. Oh, it's good. It's, it's really good. smooth. It's so like buttery, like Brown just sugary. Yeah, it does. Yes. yes. Well, me Have you my, tried 1920? No, me and my uh, bartender, we've decided that uh, we're, we're doing our own bourbon tour through oh. our bar. And we started yeah. alphabetically. <laughs> and we're, we like we've done Angels and and then we've done Bakers and Bird Dog, and then Bird Dog Seven Years. It's fun to try different whiskey. Yeah. So tell us what you're doing again with your with your bar. With the bar, me and my bartender are doing our own bourbon tour. Okay. So that we know what every bourbon tastes like, and we started randomly, so that we we decided we needed to do it alphabetically. So we. <laughs> gone back and we started alphabetically and we have I think we are at 11 so far because we just recently just started this so we started with like Angels Envy yeah. and then like Bakers and then Bird Dog and Bird Dog Seven Year Bookers <laughs> Blanton's we're literally just following a Bernheim um, what else that's really done? neat so what's your Bowman Brothers what's your favorite so far um, so far Baker's was really good. Okay. Baker's was really good. I was very surprised. Yeah. Um, but see, we started, when I say we started wrong, we started with Knob Creek Smoked Maple. Oh, Maple. yeah. Oh. It was delicious. <laughs> and then we made the mistake and tried a, a, um, a Woodford, a rare Woodford. Yeah. It, it wasn't very good. We, we weren't a fan of that one. Oh, okay. Um, and then that's when we decided, hey, we're doing this the wrong way. Let's go back. And so, and then, like I said, we daily document it on yeah. in, in her phone. We go in and we make notes. This is what it tasted like. This yeah. is what we thought of it. And that's um, awesome. So yeah, that's awesome. And it's fun too because yeah. we, we we don't do a full shot. We do just a little bit yeah. every day. And she only works four days a week. So every four days a week, <laughs> at the end of the shift, when right before she leaves, we get our little shot of bourbon and we taste it. And then we both, the two of us, decide. 
Do we like and, it or don't we like it? And what is your name? My name's Wendy. And you're the... I'm manager. the service manager. Service manager. Wendy. That's awesome. So, that's really cool. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. She, she came by when I was talking about the uh, old forester tasting like cinnamon toast crunch. Oh, I am so excited now. That's so far down the road. Oh, I'm yeah. Like, Holy, that's Just skip it. Do it now. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe tomorrow. He had a good birthday. They are taking care. He was telling me he tried the uh, the Weller 12 years. No, the single barrel. Single barrel. The Weller single barrel. Yeah. It's really good. If you ever get a chance to get it, get it. That's what I said. It made him a happy man for his birthday. That's for sure. I don't even, I don't even know how to eat this thing. <laughs> Look at that, that brisket hanging off there. There just ain't no sense in this. We gotta get some brisket. I gotta get a bite of brisket with the burger, with the pickles. Mm. Oh, my. Mm. Mm. What was yours called again? The Wayland? Mm. Mm. The Wayland, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Tina's gonna try her. Oh, my goodness. I, it's like, I can't. There's no way. <laughs> it was Big old thick two patty burger. Nobody likes water. I'll learn nothing. Here we go. Yeah, be careful. You got stuff leaking out. <laughs> That's that is a pit. man. I will say this. I mean, on this, you get the brisket, which is very tender. And the beef is really good, and then that barbecue sauce on there. It's so good. The patties are really good. They have like a some type of uh, slaw um, on the burger that is really, really tasty. Mm. Yum, yum. I was not expecting that. It's really uh, good. Good wood is good. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, but I will say this. 1920 wins. Then it's sort of a tie between the Buffalo Trace and the Eagle Rare. Both of those are really good, but they're they're different, but they're really good. And then the Sazerac Rye, it's good too, but out of the four, I mean, I would order that all day long. It's it, Sazerac Rye is really good. Um, but you can't beat the 1920 Old Forge. Four good choices that you made. And you can't beat this burger.
pleasure to meet Mr. Russell. It's amazing to meet him. Thank you for the wild person. Thank you so much. Did you hit it? Okay, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe. Hit the bell, exactly. Yeah. Hit the bell right now. Go. My name is Tiffany, and I work here at the Huddle House in Farnsburg. Yeah, and she's awesome. I don't know what else. She's been she, here since 5 o'clock this morning. Yes. So she's getting ready to go home. Yes, my yeah. time to go home and take a nap. Yes. Yeah, Get ready for tomorrow. Focusing on me now, and it's sad because she's not going to be her waitress. I know. But she got us started with some coffee and got Very nice to meet you. Guys. Take care. You too. I'm